fourth graders, welcome to our Friday math practice. Here's what we have going on today. Uh, we are going to be practicing multiplying three digits by one digit using the area model. Uh, this is the slideshow we will be using to do our practice. On the very first slide, you're going to go ahead and click in the text box where it says your name. You're going to you're going to highlight it, backspace, and then type your name in there. Okay. On each slide, you're going to have a problem to do. Um, they have already created the area model boxes for you, which is really nice. Um, and there's supports throughout this assignment to help you. Um, as you go further in the assignment, the supports get slowly taken away because you should be able to do it on your own. Our first problem is 7 times 95. Uh, so, or 795 times 4. So, they've already created three boxes. There are three boxes because I have three digits in my uh, fact, first factor. And then I'm multiplying by 4, which goes over here on the side. So I've got 795. So that represents our expanded form of our first factor. And then our number 4 goes over here on the side. Uh, inside each of the boxes on our first problem, it's already showed you what you need to multiply. So in order to type in the answer, you just click where the question mark is, you press backspace, and then you type in your answer. So 4 times 7 is 28, and then it's in the hundredth place, so I add two zeros. Okay, and I go throughout, and everywhere there's a question mark, I should be typing an answer. So you're going to type an answer here and here. Now, where there's the colored part, it also has your adding over here on the side. So you're going to take that 2,800, and you're going to add it. You're going to put it in your blue box over here for adding. Then you're going to put your orange and then green. And then you're going to put your final product or your total answer down here at the bottom. Uh, so the first two problems have all the supports in there for you. The next problem, it no longer puts the multiplication problem here for you because you should be able to do that on your own. And then the last two problems, you need to fill in your area model. What does it look like? Okay, when you're all the way finished with your activity, you are going to go to the uh, Google Classroom and take the quizzes, which is a short four question quiz um, to show us how are you doing on multiplying three digit by one digit numbers. Um, if you have some extra time and would like to enjoy some of these fast finishers, there's some fun games here for you to play as well uh, if you would like. These are optional, however, uh, the slideshow and the quizzes are required today. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to message us. Um, good luck and have fun multiplying.